Welcome back. Joining us now to answer your tax questions is Tony King of King King and Associates. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. Well, so I went to do my taxes yesterday and my preparer asked for my identification for the first time. Yes, that is some, there are some new security procedures mm -hmm. that are being uh, ins 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 implemented with um, uh, the Internal Revenue Service to cut down on some of the fraudulent tax returns being filed. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. I didn't, um, she's asked for it before, but this was the first time she actually needed the driver's license and my husband's driver's license. That's so that's right. pretty interesting yeah. now. We have a lot of questions for you. Sure. The first one, my wife's uncle passed away and left her $16,000. He lived in Pennsylvania and she had to go to his broker to receive the funds. Does this have to be claimed here in Maryland and if so, what percent will they take? Uh, first of all, sorry for the loss, but uh, fortunately bequests and inheritance are, are, are not subject to, to federal income tax. Okay. So it's basically so tax-free if you inherit money. All right, mm -hmm. so they can go get that money. Yep. This question is about computing my required minimum distribution. Once my annuity is annuitized, annuitized? Annuitized. annuitized. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. And I receive an annual payment. Do I need to include the fair market value of the balance at the end of the year at my computation? Well, this one can be kind of kind of long and drawn out, but in effect, if you have an annuity contract mm -hmm. inside your IRA, the required minimum distribution computation is just slightly different. Um, but these, these turned out to be qualified longevity annuity contracts, mm -hmm. or Q QLACs. And once it has been annuitized, then yes, the fair market value of that account balance at the end of the year is used to compute that RMD. Required minimum distributions basically say that at age 70 and a half, mm -hmm. you must start withdrawing money from your retirement accounts. Okay. That's what R&Ds are. Well, we have another annuity question. Well, we're going to skip over that. We're going to do this one. We can claim the interest paid on our mobile home if we live in a community park. I lived and worked. Oh, that's a different question. Sorry. Mo Go ahead. Uh, mobile homes do qualify as residences. So as long as, sure. the, mortgage is, as, long as the mortgage is uh, secure by mm -hmm. that property, then yes, you can claim the interest on, on the mobile home. Mm -hmm. All right, quick and easy with that. I lived and worked overseas from January through May. Is that income exempt from state and federal taxes? Do I have to report the housing paid by my company as income? Well, January through May is about 180 days. Mm -hmm. the, the, the rule for foreign source income exclusion is 330 days. So you must be living overseas for a, a total of 330 days before that income could be subject to exclusion. Does not sound like this, qual this, this particular caller qualifies for that income exclusion. Okay, another question. Does the tax return for SSDI and OPM get federal or state refund? I think the caller is asking, are those, uh, are those income amounts mm -hmm. subject to income tax? SSDI is Social Security Disability Income, and if that's the only source of income, then Social Security is not taxable. OPM stands for Office of Personnel Management. Those, that's the pension trustee mm -hmm. for federal government workers. So typically pension income is subject to tax. Okay, and this one goes sort of not really along the same lines, but still dealing with Social Security. I received Social Security. Oh, I guess we're done. Sorry about that. We are finished. Oh. But if we didn't get to your question this morning, we will answer it next week. So keep them coming. You can email tax questions directly to taxquestions at WBALTV.com, or you can go to our website, WBALTV.com, and click on Consumer Alert. See, we just can't get enough of you. And if you would like to get in touch with the Kings, you can call them at 410-486-4500 or you can check out their website, kingking.com.